this is Age Scotland's campaign to improve the bus pass for older people. Older people across Scotland aren't getting access to the buses they need to get out and about. We hope to get the government to extend the concessionary bus pass so it's eligible on all community transport. What this campaign is about is extending the national concessionary travel scheme to include community transport vehicles. So anyone currently in current receipt of a national concessionary pass would be eligible on these community transport vehicles. So any disabled people under age of 60 will also benefit from the system. They will be able to get on community transport vehicles free at the point of use. Well, I think that by investing in community transport, by helping older people get out and about more and more, then we'll actually see real savings in things like health budgets and social care budgets. This is not only good for older people, it's actually good for, it makes a lot of economic sense as well for the government. I think the problem of lack of access to transport is common all across Scotland. It's, it's most acute in rural areas, but in cities such as Glasgow and Edinburgh, there are many, many older people who can't get access to commercial buses access and community transport free at the point of use will give them a new lease on life. The Dumby Dykes campaign is a great example of a neighbourhood mobilising on behalf of its older residents. We're hoping that communities across Scotland will follow this example and take action to ensure older people's transport needs are met. The elderly in the infirm cannot get um, access to their doctors or any local uh, amenities as it takes them 45 minutes on a 36 bus via George Street and then back into Prince Street and then back into um, the south side area. This goes for mothers and toddlers as well because the dummy dykes have several flights of steps. We have photographs here to show you the flights of steps. They're very steep, so they, they can't even get out. So, so they're penalised. They're actually isolated in their, their own small community. Our campaign is not just about extending the bus pass to be used on community transport vehicles, but ensuring that all these operators get f their fares fully reimbursed by the government. These operators are working in places where the market has failed, where commercial operators won't even bother to serve their needs. I think it's only fair that the government actually reimburse these operators to the full value of the fare. There are so many people out there that are so actually isolated, even though they live in a village, they're quite isolated in their own home because some of them don't have family here, some of them have health issues, mobility issues. So I think the community transport is something that's it's demand responsive and it's addressing people's individual needs. The transport is the enabler, the activities you know, the, the, the social activities, the health activities are the thing that you add on to it. They are the thing that achieve the outcomes that the government are trying to get. So if we all work together, if we all network with some joined up funding and thinking, then it can work. <laughs>